guys excited for this yeah. next panel? Yeah! Are you guys excited about this next panel? Yeah. So we don't need a really long introduction, but 25 years of Funko, creating fun, let's get into it. Yeah. 25 years, it's been a long time. A lot of pops, a lot of Funkos, a lot of great memories, and I'm happy to be part of the Funko family. That's right, there's gonna be something. You're not supposed to see that, that's He-Man. But uh, yeah, 25 years, wow. Keep making fun, keep on popping, keep Funko, number one, baby. That's right, here's to another 25 years. Oh, God, are you happy to have the anniversary Funko? Funko! Every five years, somebody had a birthday that I had 25 years ago. Happy birthday. Happy 25th anniversary. Love you guys. Keep making fun. Happy 25th anniversary. Happy 25th anniversary, Funko. Keep making fun, all right? This is the way. Happy 25th anniversary, Funko. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funko is the D Snyder of Twisted Sister. And as one of the latest members of the Funko Pop family, happy anniversary. Funko Pop, congratulations on 25 years. Let's keep going. 25 more years, because I need to make more pop. Please. <laughs> Love you, Funko. This is Corey Feldman. Hi. This is Corey Feldman. Hi. This is Corey Feldman. <laughs> Just joking. Hi, this is actually Corey Feldman, and I'm here to say, Funko, we obviously need more Corey Feldman pops. Duh, it's just not enough. And while you're doing it, keep up making all the fun, and happy 25th birthday to Funko. Hey, this is Charlie from the Mad Anthrax and also Pantera, and I wanted to wish Funko a happy 25. Happy birthday, Funko. Happy birthday, Funko. Well, happy, 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 Wow, I can't believe it. 25 years. Now you're driving, you got a job, you're in that relationship, you're thinking about having kids. I can't believe it just seemed like yesterday. Just keep making fun. Number one. Number one. Happy anniversary. Out of a garage in 1998, in the small town of Snohomish, Washington, a company was born. The idea was simple. Make fun, and the rest will follow. A group of fans emerged, meeting at comic conventions and small events at first. Eventually, this group would span the globe and become millions strong. No worldwide as Funko Fanatics. Now, 25 years later, Funko continues to build its family through friendships, sharing fandoms, and most of all, making fun. Please welcome DJ Lance
How is everyone doing? <laughs> Last time I saw all of you, we down in San Diego for Comic Con. This is so much more exciting. All my friends here in Anaheim for Wonder Con! <laughs> is everyone having a good time? Yeah. Hey, hey, so many cool people, so many cool things. One of the best things is the Funko Funhouse. Have you checked it out? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty amazing. All kinds of cool things. And the reason that we're here is to celebrate 25 years of Funko. Can you believe it? Yeah. All right, yeah, let's make some noise. Yo, we got Freddie there, that is awesome. And now, let's look back and think about what Funko means to everybody. You can get anything you imagine, all these cool things, any movie, music, you know. I got my Ozzy Osbourne, a Diary of a Man Man back at home, which I really like. All kinds of cool stuff. But the thing about it is that Funko makes everything fun. Everyone can collect something, and it means something to you, and that's what's been going on for 25 years. They've been making magic for all of us here. All right. So, without further ado, let's meet the men who made the magic. So please put your hands together for Brian Mariotti. And my incredible community. I don't want to get too choked up here about it, but it is a wonderful night that we can all celebrate this here together. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I kind of threw away the script and just decided to speak from the heart, but I, I pinch myself every morning when I wake up. What an what a incredible thing it is to come and make fun and uh, see you all here at these conventions. I love you. I, that's all I can think of. It. I just love you guys. And it's just, it's, it's a delight to, to do this every day and I, I see all the faces and what do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you think, Best fans of the world, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, we love you guys. I don't know any other company that likes to bring everybody together and try to load them up with free goodies that are awesome, but we do that because we love you guys. It means the world. This company means absolutely nothing with any of you guys. So. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for caring about us. Thank you for showing up, and you guys are going to have a fun time today. Yeah. All right, so let's get this show started. There's going to be a lot of fun, like you would expect from Funko. There's a little few changes in the program tonight. Some people uh, aren't going to make it that we had hoped that we're going to make it, but some other people are going to make it that we didn't expect to make it. But let's start with what we really want to see, which are some magical Mariotti's reveals. Let's start, Brian, with how about some... You know what I want to do? First of all, I want to thank our host. Come here, DJ Lance. Come on up here. Come here, buddy. Hey, before we get started, what's it like to be popped? <laughs> be popped is awesome! Such a great time. That was probably my second most favorite experience with Funko. What's your first? When you made a pop of Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> okay. All right. So, tell us about any upcoming projects you might have. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm going to come back later. But I'm working. I have. I think he's out here in the audience. Where is Jerome? Are you here? This is an awesome illustrator friend of mine. We've come up with one children's ABC book. And we're working on the second one, which should be ready in time for Comic Con. But you can go to djlandsrockog.com. You can see all the stuff we're working on. But we'll have another book. We've got a couple of pins and patches. And I have a few for giveaways, but I left them in back. So maybe I will run back out here and I'll 
Come on to the people. All right. All right, everybody, let's hear it for the Gateway's Rock. All right, it is time to get this thing rolling with Mariotti's magical pop reveal. Start it, Brian. All right, first one. Here we go. Thank you guys all for your support. Yeah. 
All right, let's talk a little bit about the new Demon Slayer movie. It just came out, what, a couple of weeks ago? That's right. What do you think? I saw it. I had a couple lines at the end of the movie. <laughs> and I can't wait. It's not enough. That's right. No, I can't wait for season three. It's just like, there's more good things to come. So, it was, it was good. Who's seen it? Who out here has seen it? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> So let's talk real quickly. Any upcoming projects you'd like to speak about? Oh, I wish I didn't have NDAs. Yeah. Doing a lot of new Don't video games. <laughs> yeah. New animes, new video games, uh, new music. I'm in a band called New New Girlfriend. Check us out. Check us out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just uh, I'm grateful to continue to work. Um, and uh, I wish I could share titles, but I can't yet. How about you? Well, um, this was revealed recently, so I can talk about it, but I am reprising my role as 2B for the Nier Automata anime, so I'm very excited about that. You reminded me, I'm in, uh, I can, I can announce one. Vinland Saga, Canute, oh. season two. Oh. Let's say that. Cool. All right, folks, it's time to show you the new Demon Slayer Pops. Oh. We'll see you. There you go. Go ahead, Griffin, tell us about it. Yahaba. And you have a glow. All right, Kira. So cool. so much for being here. Thank you for being part of this Demon Slayer franchise. Thanks, guys. Thank you for having us. Let's hear it for Okay. Anybody follow Funko on social media? Well, I've got some friends from that area that would like to talk to you about a special social media giveaway. Who could that be? Oh my god, Ernie! Ernie Hudson, I love you so much! You're my favorite! You're my absolute favorite Ghostbuster! No, please. Please keep it. It's a, it's a gift from us. Absolutely. Yep. I'll see you on Sunday for brunch. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, Mike? How's it going? Good. What do you got for us here, Jason? Have for you. Have for me. Oh, Lord. Um... I think we were supposed to give away a social media Freddy, one of those rare treasures on the planet. Why don't we give away 25 social media Freddy? Um, hey, hey, um, uh, we need a special delivery of some type. I think I, I just gave away the last one to Ernie Hudson. If only there was someone to help us!
voices? Why the long faces? Well, uh, Mike had given me a really special responsibility, and I gave that away to Ernie Hudson. <laughs> Delivery Dave, you're such a clever guy. You're always prepared, ready to go. Any chance you can help us out today? We're looking for social media Freddies. <laughs> The prize control? I think that's a swell idea. Okay. On my count of three, you'll say one, you'll say two, and I'll say three, and then the prize control will give tickets away so they can get their 25 social media friends. Oh, wait. wait. Am I three? No, you're All one. right. Oh, I'm one. I'm yeah, two. do it. One, two, three. Coming up all night. Let's hear it one more time for Delivery Dave and Jason. All right, here it comes. Folks, Brian is going to give you an unbelievable Mariotti's miracle announcements. It's about. Tell him. Fun on the run, guys. So, 25 years. A lot of people can't get out to San Diego. A lot of people can't make it out to Anaheim or New York. So we're going to make 13 stops this summer in various cities all across the United States, ending and culminating at San Diego Comic Con. Who here in this stadium is going to go to San Diego Comic Con this year? All right, I'm not going to hijack this, but I guarantee you guys, how many people want to go to the Funko Fun Days party on Friday? You guys, we're doing the party outdoors at the Shell on the water. Mike has been busting his tail to come up with the greatest show you guys have ever seen. So we are really excited about San Diego. This is going to culminate in San Diego. This is our huge tour bus. Mike shows some sneak previews and some great products. So let's see. Comes out is going to get a poster and a sticker specifically to that city on every tour day. <laughs> and here's some of the products you guys are going to be seeing. Really cool, we got a, uh, a 25 year special edition Wacky Wobbler for the Wacky Wobbler old school fans. We have we got Freddy's Batman, we also have uh, Space Ghost Soda, we're really excited about. Some great mini pop. You guys, it's going to be a good blast. And if you guys can't make it to the other cities, this box will show up at San Diego Comic Con as well. So we're really excited about this event. Go, go! All right, folks, so that's fun on the run coming to a city near you, hopefully. The main reason is we wanted to bring fun to everyone. So a lot of times we know how hard it is and how expensive it is sometimes to get to these cons. So we're trying to hit some of these uh, smaller towns along the way. But wait till you hear what Brian's going to tell you next. Anybody a Lounge Fly fan? <laughs> Like every third person is wearing a uh, lounge fly backpack. I'm super excited. Who wants to see a lounge fly okay. sneak peek? <laughs> the latest Bond Mansion? Alright. You know what I think we should do? I think we should find our 25. <laughs>
for the Marianas Magical Reveal. This is a big one. How many people, hey, did you know that actually next week is the WWE? Oh, you already know what I'm going to say. It's so fly stadium. Absolutely, guys. You want to see the WWE box? Yeah! All right, let's it. Triple H, Ronda Rousey. The 2023 Countdown WWE Calendar. The uh, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, SummerSlam. Now Mike. Yes. You like a different kind of wrestling. I do. I love Lucha Libre. Yes, you guys. Do you love Lucha Libre? So Mike, who is uh, what's your favorite Lucha Libre wrestler ever? My second favorite is Blue Demon, but my all-time favorite would have to be El Santo. So Mike, we got a little special guest for you. Really? The son of El Santo.
one thing. You know, I love the Funko community more than anything. I mean, we all like this stuff. We all like the special editions. We all like, you know, we love everything about it. But what I love more than anything is this Funko family. This is the most special thing on earth. I found a couple of guys that I'm introduce you today. I made up my collectors of the day. We're gonna bring up Noah and Ryan. Come on up here, guys. They're gonna be our collectors of the day. Where are they? Noah and Ryan, here they come. Oh yeah, bring them around. They're coming over there, Justin. So, it's always special to find some young collectors that really like it just for the love of the game. And so, let's welcome them when they come up here. Come on, guys. Here comes Noah and Ryan. All right, Ryan. Here, come on up here, guys. Don't be shy. All right. This, we just kind of just decided to do this before the show. These guys, tell us what you love about Funko. I like the chases. I think they're really cool. Yeah. And as they all say, Funko's motto is everyone is a fan of something. Yeah. What are you a fan of? I'm a fan of Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What else do you want to say? give a couple of young collectors a shout out so let's hear it for Noah and Ryan. Thanks for coming. Hold on, do we got something for him? We do? Oh. Alright, here's a couple of nice protos for you guys. Here, come on up. Alright guys, come on up. All right, show everybody what you got. Wow, look at that. Woo! All right, Noah and Ryan, thanks guys. All right, it's time once again for Mariotti's Miraculous Reveals. Hey, how many people like pop? Oh, how many people are getting into bitty pop? Brian's going to tell you more about Biddy Pop. All right, guys, these are the next Biddy Pop to be revealed for the first time ever. Let's hit it.
you out of control here. Until a few moments ago. All right, Brian has joined me on stage for that special moment because we have a Disney legend in our presence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've probably enjoyed his attractions over the years. Let's take you through a little bit about some of those attractions created by Bob Gurr. Yeah! As you all know, Hopper is the only remaining original Disney Imagineer. The creator of the monorail. The Autopia. Of course, and everybody's favorite, the Haunted Mansion Dune Buggy. Will you help me welcome to the stage for Disney's 100th anniversary, Disney Imagineer legend, Bob Gurr. The Doom Buggy. What were you thinking when you created that thing? All of it was fantastic. What? A, anybody like my cool designs of Disney? Yeah! Yeah! Well, if you think those were cool then, just think of this. I was doing pop culture in the mid-century before you guys were even born. <laughs> before they came up with the name pop culture. Yeah. Now, as working with you guys, I am in the middle of pop culture, but I was there before it started. <laughs> All right. Tell us a little bit. Bob's known for if it if it was on wheels, I probably designed it. If you guys know over at Disneyland, tell us a little bit. Let's let's talk a little bit about Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Well, Mr. Toad is very uh, kind of next to my heart because I didn't design it. <laughs> but the attraction had all kinds of effects in those days when we first started opening. Some of the effects would break up. They had falling barrels that actually fell on people. So I got a chance to go out and redesign broken stuff on the tow on the tow ride. But of the original 12 tow cars that were built, I have one of them in my dining room. I have Little Red Winky. <laughs> And it's not for sale. It's not going to go to an auction. I got that forever. How about the Matterhorn bobsleds? You like the bobsleds? Yeah, well, the one they used to have, the one I designed, it was comfortable, not the one they have. Yeah. That's an inside story. Yeah. No. When Walt wants me to design something, I think, how cool can this look? How professional can it look? And I would do a lot of extra work to just get the styling of everything just exactly right. I did that with everything I designed. Uh, talk to us about opening day with the monorail. Oh, the opening day of the monorail. This was June 1959. We only tested it for two weeks and it broke down every day. <laughs> True story. The night before, Walt was going to cut the ribbon and he had his friend Dick Nixon, Vice President of the United States, was going to give him a ride. The train actually went around one lap without breaking down. So I parked it where the ribbon's going to go. Here comes Walt Disney with his friend Dick Nixon, the Secret Service, all those kind of folks coming along. He introduced me, everybody around, and he said, well, give him a ride. And I just drove off, said nothing. I kidnapped the Vice President of the United States. <laughs> the 
joke was, presidents like to escape the Secret Service. I am the only one that let a vice president get away with it. <laughs> all right, so you guys are going to all be part of an amazing reveal right now. You don't even know about this. You ready? We're going to show you something. Everybody take a look at our latest Hall of Fame first ever celebrity induction. Right here. What's up? <laughs> Bring it out right now. Come on. upcoming projects. In fact, folks, remember this is all about a celebration of you for 25 years of fun. You know, let's all celebrate together.
is going to get one of these. There's no need to push and shove. When you leave tonight, when you leave tonight, please leave in an orderly fashion because I guarantee you everyone's going to get one. Thank you for doing that for the fans, Brian. That's So remember, don't push and shove. We want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. Everyone here tonight, thank you so much. 25 guys, years. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out for the Funko panel. We want you guys to stay in your seats for a moment. We're going to release everybody in an orderly way. We're going to have security people come over and let you know when your section is ready to go. So do us a favor, don't leave yet. We're going to make sure that everybody gets there safely and everybody gets the pop that they want. Just give us a minute and we'll, uh, we'll get you out. So how many of you guys have enjoyed the panel?